that's either going to be massive or it's the bottom, but it just feels really big. <laughs> Thought I was stuck in the bottom. Oh, it's got to be a good one. That is an absolute giant. An absolute pigeon pair of beautiful southern calamari. So stoked with that. G'day everybody and welcome to another Full Scale Fishing Adventures episode. Currently down on the bottom of the York Peninsula in South Australia. It's an absolutely beautiful afternoon. We've had some really calm weather so the water's really clear and I thought it was a really good opportunity to come out and catch a feed of squid. Squid are one of my favourite fish to catch. They're super fun, they taste great. So I always look forward to a good squidding session. So let's get out there and see if we can get it done. Got a couple of rods rigged up. I got asked the other day what makes a good squid jig, and these are the uh, Fish Ink Egalicious jigs. And what makes a really good squid jig is the quality of the pins. So on these Egalicious jigs, it's a bit of a tongue twister, Egalicious, um, is they use owner pins, so they're sticky sharp. And what that means, when you get the squid when they're really tentative and they might only send one tentacle out, um, you're gonna hook them. Whereas with a cheaper jig, they're not as sharp and you're just not going to get that good connection. Um, I've gone with a light and a dark option. So black and red, chartreuse and yellow. I'm going to stick one rod in the rod holder because you will be surprised how many squid you will catch in the rod holder. So that one can sit there. I'm going to use one to cast. I'm using one of the Akuma inked special eggy rods which are just so much fun to use got that matched to an itx 3000 10 pound braid i've gone a 15 pound fluorocarbon leader about a rod length long and the plan is got a good mix of weed reef and sort of sandy holes um, but the plan is i've got uh, an incoming oh sorry outgoing tide outgoing tide so i'm just going to fish um drifts down into the shallows um, with the tide and fan my cast and see if we can't catch some squid. Having the extra rod in the rod hold is really good because quite often you get squid that will follow in and that's a great way, way of maximising your opportunities. One. Nice. Good size squid too. Now generally once I've got them on, just wind slowly and peer down into the water and see if we got got any mates following. It's a sweep down there. Oh there's another big squid there too. This is why we have the extra jig. weed on it. He's right there. Come on, see that. Come on. More interested in his mate. There we go. He's coming. He's coming. He's got it. Kill. Double squid action. 
going to make the most of them when they come past. Oh, there's one. There's two. Absolutely beautiful. All right, we'll dispatch of these couple and we'll see if we can get a few more. Quickest, easy way, just karate chop behind their head and they change color and that means they're done and dusted. Just like that. And then they can go in the ice box. Beautiful. The water is super clear. Oh, big squid on the jig. Sorry, he's there, he's coming. Eat it. Oh, here he comes. He's got it. Sick. A nice one. Perfect eating size. Oh, okay. Beautiful. a few different ways you can work your squid jig you can do the classic like I like to let it sink down sort of a meter or two off the bottom do one big rip and then it, let it sink back down again get in touch with it and then do another big rip I've seen people have really good success just with the slow wind just slowly winding and then like you see with the rod holder, how many that catches, like you can really just have it over the side of the boat. If you're not that good a caster and you're still in with a really good shot if you're drifting of catching them. Actually grabbed it on the drop that one. Saw the line sort of go slack and then whipped into him and there he was. That's a really nice one. Super cool. Got any mates with you? I think that's the biggest one of the session so far. It's a really nice one. Check him out. He is stuck to my hand for starters. Oh, what are you doing, man? <laughs> that is one big sucker. That was a big squid. Is a big squid. He is going nuts. <laughs> Just offloading all the ink, which is good. You offload as much as you like out there. It's funny, I've been looking, apart from that first one, I haven't seen any others following in. Beautiful. And see that jig pinned right in the back of his head. It just shows you he ate it on the drop. Had a lot of chance to get it down. Beautiful. They're all good size ones.
That feels like a big one. It's just beautiful sand patches in amongst the reefy bottom, big plumes of weed. It's just the perfect scenario for squid. Very nice. Really nice size ones, these ones. Oh, check him out. He is a ripper. Just moved up again. Just like to sort of work a drift down however far, like into three meters of water and then just come back out and shoot along the coast a little bit, say 50 or 100 metres, and just do another drift over fresh water. I know you could keep hammering the same spot if you've caught squid there, but I like to just keep hitting the fresh stuff. We're in five metres of water. Feels quite big this one. Does feel heavy. Oh yeah, that's a nice one. That is a really nice one. Got any mates with you? Well that's a tank. It's a really, really nice squid. Oh. Come here, come here. Oh, he is a whopper. That is an absolute whopping squid. How beautiful. The green jig's been getting it done, that is for sure. So good, so good. He is an absolute monster. It's interesting, sometimes the one in the rod holder catches a lot and then other times, like today, um, they seem to like the jig moving. But that's why I think it's so good with the extra rod. It just covers both bases. And sometimes it's funny, they can be real cagey, they'll follow the jig in, but they'll just hang back from it. And quite often in those times when you've got the jig just sitting there, um, they can just think about it for long enough to be convinced and then eat it. either got to be massive or it's the bottom but it just feels really big <laughs> thought it was stuck in the bottom oh it's got to be a good one that is an absolute giant absolute giant squid and there's another whopper behind him another whopper behind him oh. come on eat that Got the other whopper. Double whopper. Oh, that's a really big one. Got that one. <laughs> oh, another whopper. Yeah. <laughs> Look at those two. You, they are big ones. Well, have a look at these two. They are just an absolute pigeon pair of beautiful southern calamari. So stoked with that. That is so good. Stoked. Well, that is it. Very fun session. Squid are just such a good fish to target. If you enjoyed the episode, make sure you give us a like, leave a comment, and if you subscribe to the channel, it helps the channel grow. Much appreciated you guys watching, and I'll catch you all next time.